we're gonna talk here about work item tracking system if you go to a team project and expand the work item you will find two types of queries first is my query and second is team queries my queries are queries that are personal to me and team queries are queries that is shared with my team but what is work item queries work item queries are queries that gets me data from the work item tracking system to track any work item I want so let's see what are the types of work we can have in the work item tracking system for this team project. You can find here a list of different types of work that we can track, like bugs, issues, tasks, and user stories. The reason I'm seeing these work items is because when I created this team project, I selected Agile process template. Let's create a new user story. A user story in Agile is like a use case or a requirement for your project. The fields you see here can easily be changed. Actually, in any work item, you can change fields, add new fields, remove fields, as your software process require, but I'm sure you will find MS for Agile is a good one for you to use. Let's write a title for this user story, adding two numbers, as we are creating a creator here after all. As you can see here, we have assigned two fields, which show us team members. Also, the state here is active, because in MS for Agile, all user stories are created with the state active. I will go now to description and right like the Agile description template here. As calculator user, I want to add two numbers so that the addition process is done for me. Then I will save this work item. Now as you can see, there are some changes happen here after saving the work item. For example, in the state, you can find in its drop down list two additional states, closed and resolved. I can change the state to closed or resolved. In MS for Agile, user story is created with active state, and once work is done for it, it should be moved to resolved. And then the QA handles from there. QA should validate, and if found no problem with it, then they change the state to closed. Let's look at the history. History in the work item is tracking any change done to any field in the work item and show us all the historical details for it. I will change the description and let's see what the history will show us. As you see, tell us that description is changed with showing the old and the new value for it. I will close this user story. Now let's see the user story query for iteration 1. I'll go to team queries, then iteration 1, then choose open user stories. What actually happens here is that this query will run into the work item tracking system and pull back the open user stories for me. But nothing is show up here because I didn't specify the iteration in the user story I created. So I go to the product backlog which show me any open user stories regarding its iteration. Now I will assign the iteration for this user story and save. Now go back to the open stories for iteration 1 and here we find our story iteration 1 is like phase 1 or release 1 it represents a period of time in your project now when you build software most probably you will have very high level requirements and of course you would like to break it down so there is something here called new linked work item if you open it we can now detail the work. I will choose the child relationship and task from the work item type. I will enter the title implementing addition to numbers. Click OK. Now the task is open for me to change any field I want. As you can see here, it's by default active when you create any work item for MS for Agile. Now I'm gonna save it. I'll close the task. Now go to the open user story, refresh. And of course, I won't find the task because we are showing the open user story screen. So we need to see the iteration backlog, see the story with their tasks. As you can see here, it shows a tree view. Also, if you look at the icon beside the backlog query of iteration you will find it different it's different from the others because it shows the work item 
in three way and not and flat as you can see here you can find something called area area is something we use to organize our work to add areas to your team project you need to right click on the team project then team project settings and choose areas and iterations now in areas for our calculator project could be addition, subtraction, division and so on I like you to think of the area as a part of the project that you can work on it like for example if you work on the office you will have the word area, cell area, powerpoint area now let's try to edit a query and show only specific area I'm gonna create a user story first okay by subtraction two numbers and choose the area to be subtraction and iteration to be iteration one go to the description and write in the description I want as a calculator user I want to subtract two numbers so that subtraction process is done for me now I'm gonna save it go back in here and refresh we can see we have two zero story okay yes I'll make the areas and iteration for task and zero story because I didn't make them before now let's try to edit the query of the open user stories and only see in the specific results for the areas only. Okay, we see at end area pass. Let's choose. I want only to see any user story in the area of addition and get me the adding two number. Let's, for example, change it to the area of subtraction, and it only gets me the user story in the subtraction area. 